Hi everybody, it's Ms. Jen here. I hope everybody's doing well. We miss seeing you. Um, but I wanted to read you a story today called, What Do You Do With An Idea? And I know that our nursery school is full of kids with great ideas. We see it in the way you play and the way you imagine the things you build, all the things you do. Um, so this book is about following your ideas and um, seeing where they take you. So this is written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessem. I hope I'm pronouncing the illustrator's name correctly. What do you do with an idea? One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it hidden to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit I felt better and happier when it was around. It's like a pretty fun idea, doesn't it? It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. You see this snowman and all the characters. My idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wings, it took flight and burst into the sky. I don't 
know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. So I love this story because I think it's, um, it's a good reminder that all these great ideas that you have in your head, all these things you'd like to try and do, um, listen to them, give them some attention. Everything around you, if you look around, was somebody's idea at one point that they probably thought was crazy. The light above your head, the phone or the tablet you're using to listen to a story was someone's idea at some point. Someone once had the idea to explore the world and figure out what else is out there. So these ideas need to be fed. So I hope during this time when we're all at home and we've all got ideas going in our heads that you work with them and you feed them and you give them some attention. I'll be reading another book called Not a Box in a little bit and that's a story about what one boy does with an idea about a box.